I'm Cody Yetter from Trevani Medical. Uh, Trevani Medical, we are the manufacturers of the Iana Patch family of products. As you can see, we have four products to choose from. At Trevani Medical, we pride ourselves on being industry leaders and experts in transdermal drug delivery. Ionophoresis is a technology that's been around for a long time. We've taken that technology and improved upon the drug delivery format as well as the safety of it. At Trevani Medical, we have three main benefits that we see ourselves over other ionophoretic products. We have a superior drug delivery platform, we have a superior safety profile, and we have a cost-effective and convenient way to deliver the, the, the drug through our product line. Um, the first thing I like to talk about is our superior drug delivery platform. Our product line is backed by three peer-reviewed published studies, one of them being an outcome-based study. Our drug delivery platform is based on low current drug delivery technology. At, at any given point, we are 10 to 40 times lower current than other inophretic devices on the market. Um, the first study we did, peer reviewed and published in 2003 in the Journal of Physical Therapy, actually showed low current is much more effective at delivering drugs than high current is because we don't vasodilate the skin causing increased blood flow and causing some of that drug to be washed away uh, systemically. Our drug, our, our drug delivery platform allows the drug what it's designed to do, which is stay local. So that's the first part of that study. The second part of the study shows it doesn't matter if you're using high current or low current, ionophoresis will only go so deep, which is about a centimeter to two centimeters into the tissue. The second peer-reviewed published study quantifies actually how much drug are we delivering in one patch, specifically an 80 milliamp minute patch. One 80 milliamp minute patch is going to deliver right around 1.2 to 1.4 milligrams of drug. That's why you see six patches in a box. Basically six patches is equivalent to one injection. Um, that's true for all of our products except for our extra strength product, um, where it, only four product or four patches gets you the same amount of drug delivered as an injection. Uh, the last study I want to talk about is our outcome-based study. This study actually compares our product to an injection. Um, the study shows that not only is our product line just as efficacious as an injection, but our patients also had uh, uh, some improvements over an injection. So why do we have these studies? We have these studies to show we have a positive outcome-based product. Our product, you, you can use it and know full well that you're going you're gonna to get results from it. The second part, uh, the second benefit I like to talk about is our superior safety profile. Also stemming from our drug delivery platform of low current uh, uh, drug delivery. Uh, we have no uh, medical device reports filed with the FDA and our product line uh, as it goes, since it is low current, doesn't cause the skin uh, reaction or the skin trauma that you can get with high current products. The last benefit I want to talk about is our cost effectiveness and convenience. As you'll notice, none of our products have uh, lead wires to a freezing unit, um, no need for a dose controller, anything like that. All of our products, the power is completely self-contained within the patch. Um, all of our product too are designed to be wrapped, braced, splinted over, and w uh, weight bare. So you can walk on our patches and they will still work just fine. Um, you can exercise with our patches on, you can shower with our patches on, they're water resistant but not waterproof. A um, little bit about each, each of the products. Our first one is the Extra Strength product. This is an 8 hour wear patch, but it's a 120 milliamp minute dose treatment. So you're going to get more aggressive treatment, but fewer treatments. So this is designed uh, for those patients that come in really hot, um, or let's say only come in a few t once or twice a week. The next product is our Iano Patch Stat. This is an 80 milliamp minute patch. Uh, you get the, the drug delivered in four hours. Um, so it, it, it's really designed for those patients that require a shorter wear time. The next product is our Iano Patch 80. This is a 14 hour wear or overnight wear patch. Uh, very low profile. This is the patch we prefer to uh, use on patients um, that have plantar fasciitis or foot ailments. Uh, because it is a very low profile, it's like a big band-aid, patients don't know it's there. Um, it is also subsensory, meaning that the current is, it's operating at is so low that the patient shouldn't feel a thing. The last product is in our line is the Iona Patch SP. It's a 40 milliamp minute patch designed to treat fingers or smaller areas. It too is a 14 hour or overnight wear patch. Um, very conformable and, and very easy to use. 
All of the application and process is very simple. It's just a little technique dependent. However, we have made it as simple as possible by printing the application instructions on every pouch. Um, the application and process for the uh, for this 80 stat and extra strength are all the same. The only one that's a little different is the uh, SP. I'll go over that briefly. When you're when you're um, the two things we want to stress uh, with applying our product is do not overfill the electrode and make sure you have the patient take the patch off when it is wet or anything uh, that, that would break down that adhesion bond. But to start, you want to prep the site. You want to make sure that site is free of any kind of contaminants, so you want to use soap or water. Avoid alcohol wipes if you can because that will dry the skin out. Next thing you want to do is fill the electrode. Basically, take, take your drug or your saline and apply it directly to the middle of the pad. You want to hydrate it to a point where just about two to three millimeters um, around the edge is unfilled. You want to leave that site unfilled as it will wick out on its own. Same thing on the opposite uh, side, fill it, leaving a little area unfilled. Once that's done, you want to position the joint. You want to make sure it's right mid-range through motion. Once you have that done, then you can apply the patch, making sure the medicated site is over the area where there's pain and inflammation. So once you've got that on, simply hydrating the patch and applying it to the skin is all it takes to activate the patch. Your skin is conductive, and as soon as you put that on the skin, it will complete the circuit of the battery, activating the patch. So very simple. The only failure mode we have is if, is if you don't have good skin adhesion. So if you're worried about it peeling up, give it a couple of wraps. Um, next, you want to make sure the, the patch is secure. Have the patient do a couple range, you know, range of motion to make sure there's no corner peeling up. Once that's done, um, make sure you tell the patient to remove the patch when it is wet. Hold it under water, uh, submerge it, anything to break down that adhesion bond is what you want to do. The last thing I'll show you is the application site for the SP. As I said, this is a little bit different, only in that you're going to apply it and then fill, in, fill the electrodes through these little porthole covers. So if you're treating a finger, you can apply it to the finger. Pull the positive side tight. Make sure you've got good skin adhesion. Um, make sure that patch isn't going to go anywhere. Because then you'll take your drug and your saline and you'll fill in these little porthole covers. You'll notice it'll start to kind of beat up when it's full. Then you know you're done. You do the same thing on the opposite side. Then what you'll want to do is you'll take these occlusive porthole covers and apply them right over the, the site. This will prevent any other kind of contaminants from getting into the, to the medicated area. Uh, for instance, if a patient has to go back to work and they need to wash their hands, this will prevent any other solution or liquid from getting into the uh, medicated area. So the application, very simple and easy. Make sure that they remove it uh, by getting it wet or breaking down the, uh, anything to break down that adhesion. Um, and once you've got that done, uh, then you'll know how to apply our, our, our product. Thank you for your time and attention. We hope that IonoPatch can help you treat your patients more efficiently and effectively.